I never thought we'd act this young when we got this old. 30 something. Elves. Not the handsomest soul, the most talented, but give it to me and best believe that I can handle it. Dante Bosco, the king of Los Angeles, if only in my own mind, legend in my own time. Founder of the poetry lounge since the underground. Some say I'm just so profound. I've been around the world and I've seen many places. My family and friends got familiar faces. We were, I mean, we were drinking. <laughs> we were drunk. At Cheryl and Angela's was margaritas. No, we were at Cheryl and Angela's. You had too much to drink, and so I sobered up. I drove you home. You invited me up, and you know. What about my, what about my fiance? Dante. Dante. We broke up with her two months ago. I've just been too embarrassed to tell us. You told me all about it last night. I did? Yeah. You were actually really nice and heartfelt and emotional. You totally opened up to me. It was weird. It was. Yeah. Okay, are you like regretting this or something? No. No. No, I'm just... Don't tell me that you don't remember what happened no. last night. No. No, I totally remember. I just I... forgot for a second because I just woke up in my bed and you were here and it was shocking. Guys taking advantage of girls, it's like... It's a real problem. Uh, yeah, it's a violation. It's illegal, Dante. Right. I'm just saying, like, growing up, most guys, you know, were gentlemen. I mean, we know that we can only go as far as a girl would let us go. Sometimes we go further than we want to go. Okay, what are you trying to say? I'm just saying that sometimes you think making out would be cool, and then all of a sudden, before you know it, you went all the way. I mean, most men want to admit to not wanting to go all the way because that's not a very manly thing to admit, but it happens. That shit, that's... That's real talk. Are you saying that you regret this? Are you saying that I took advantage of you? No, I'm not saying that. Okay, cause just, don't be an asshole. I'm just saying, I'm just recalling. Yeah. I just was just... Okay, you were really nice last night, so don't now be an asshole. I was. Don't be an asshole. What? You know, I'm just thinking it just reminded me. We talked about it. It's no big deal, okay? We're not gonna tell Cheryl and Angelo. Hell no. 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 Okay. Don't tell nobody about this. We're not telling anybody. You think I want to tell somebody? I'm just saying. It's fine. Listen. I'm okay with a casual, you know. Casual's cool. Yeah. It's fine. A casual's cool. Yeah. And besides. We're all grown-ups. Total grown-ups. I mean, we're in, we're 30s. We're, we're like, we're not kids. Wow. Okay, let's not go that far. We're not that old. I'm just saying, like... Besides, you told me that in our secret hangouts, you've been... <clears throat> I wanted to kiss you a little bit or something? I, I think I recall the words were, dying to kiss me. <laughs> I think that's actually what you said. So you do remember no, what I, happened last I night. Do, I, have a, uh -huh. I have a very full fancy life. I, I, I have fantasies of kissing a lot of girls. Okay, you are such yeah. a jerk. I, no, I remember. No, I remember. I remember. I I'm just was... I was just kidding. Teasing. Yeah, okay. Stop it. You love to tease me, I swear to God. <laughs> Were you disappointed? Huh? The kiss. Well, the thing is, you're not a bad kisser. There's... Bad kisser, my ass. I swear to God. You're like the little boy that pulls the girl's hair that he has a crush on. I 